Well, a new report out from The Hill says that pharmaceutical, manufacturing, and agricultural interests have combined to spend over $400 million in lobbying Congress on a new farm bill. Now, that's more than four times the amount of money spent, they say, by public sector and civil society people. The report also found that between 2019 and 2023, large agribusinesses, food and agriculture industry associations, and other interest groups reported a combined $523 million in federal lobby expenditures on disclosure reports that listed Farm Bill among the specific lobbying issues. And in case you're wondering, the top lobbying spenders included the U.S. Chamber of Commerce, the American Farm Bureau Federation, and Coke Industries. In some other news, the American Sheep Industry Association recently released a video entitled The History of Scrapey, which is available for viewing on the association's YouTube channel. It's really a success story, says Dr. Stephanie Ringler with the USDA APHIS. She credits the cooperative efforts of federal and state government agencies along with sheep producers for tackling this issue. Of course, sheep producers here in Western Ag Network country played a very important role in getting to where we're at today with scrapey eradication, making the U.S. sheep flock healthier and, of course, more profitable. And finally today, an important function of the beef checkoff program is to expand demand for U.S. beef internationally. And two of the largest destinations for U.S. beef are South Korea and Japan. A delegation of beef industry leaders from 10 states recently visited South Korea and Japan to get a first-hand look at how U.S. beef is promoted in that region. The group also met with buyers and distributors of U.S. beef and learned about emerging consumer trends. This has had a positive impact on carcass value, with the latest beef export value at $890 million, which equates to $454 per head of fed cattle. Now, the delegation included cattle producers from Kentucky, Colorado, Idaho, Iowa, Kansas, Montana, Nebraska, North Dakota, Wisconsin, and Wyoming. That's a look at your farm and ranch news. Have a great day. The preceding news segment was produced for MTN by the Western Ag Network.